Yo, yo, welcome to another video, guys. Today, we are going to be talking about Giants V12. A lot of people have been asking me about my mid-game team for Giants V12, and that's what we are going to be doing today. Now, I just want to show you guys something really quick. My mid-game account is uh, pretty bad um, when it comes to towers. So I want to show you guys my towers so you get an idea of what I'm working with. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been challenging to say the least. Okay guys, so before I get into the team, I just wanna say the first mid game video, I asked you guys to show me some support and hit that subscribe button if you're new, because it showed me that you wanted more mid game content. So that being said, thank you to all of you that did hit that subscribe button. So we got 350 new subscribers, which is awesome. But I am gonna ask you again, <laughs> If you're new, please show me some support. It shows me that you guys actually do need the help and then I will take time away from my main account to provide content for you guys just like this, all right? Uh, now, I personally on this account, if you follow in my mid game series, my improvement is gonna come from the Cropolis. I need to get my BJR5 team up and running. But on streams and you know in comments, I've gotten a lot of feedback that you guys wanted a Giants B12 team first. So that being said, guys, I was kind of between a rock and a hard place as far as putting my best runes on my Giants team um, and you know just scrapping my Necro team. So what I'm gonna show you, uh, the runes are not amazing. All right, the runes are not amazing. So just know that you are going to have better towers. You are going to probably be able to put better runes on these if your focus is giants. You should put your best possible rune sets on your giants team if that is your focus right now, all right? So my team is going to be kind of slow, but it's going to be the concept, and I want you to fully grasp this. It's the concept of why it works, all right? Let's get into it. So I'm pretty sure you saw in the thumbnail not to use Lauren, right? And why is that, guys? The reason you're not going to be using Lauren is because Lauren brings too much. Lauren is too good. <laughs> She's too good for her own good. <laughs> now, the reason is uh, she brings the slow, right? She brings the slow, uh, makes the boss really slow, obviously, and she just decreases way too much attack bar and then on top of that a lot of you or most of us really um, in mid game we have her on violent right so all those violent procs she's just getting too many turns and she's denying the boss a turn so what happens is and i know this because i tried her i tested her i used her uh, basically what you create is just the boss playing whack-a-mole on your team the boss basically just starts playing whack-a-mole on your team and if one of the towers uh got that aoe defense break on your team um <laughs> it's causing wipes you're basically causing wipes or on top of that because the boss is never getting turns you have to physically just pound on him and pound on him with your uh with your monsters who are just not doing enough damage and and it's just taking too long, right? It is just taking too long. So let's take a look at my team. And obviously I will show you the runes and everything. Now you saw right there already how hard it was to get that mid boss down. That is one of the biggest changes uh, to the B12 compared to B10. Uh, it's, it's really just all that, all that HP that that mini boss has. But then on top of that, it is the damn resistance man it is crazy how much resistance this thing has so one key note is we're gonna need accuracy on some of your monsters guys now you see the team running so the way it's working um we've got uh the bella uh, the bella is here i'm gonna kind of go over the roles as as the team runs right so the bella she's very very good here uh, this one is second awakened i almost wish she wasn't uh, but probably not uh, she does reduce attack bar and so does the friend but you're gonna see that um, it's just not as much as the lauren so eventually the the, the plan is between the team ups and between the the theomars and the veromos we're gonna land some dots on this we're gonna land some dots and also the crow right there 
and the boss will take turns the boss will take turns and you saw right there that uh he actually countered attacked the theomars when he had that defense break and you know with my room quality he would have one shot anything um obviously the theomars prevented it uh, because of the endure and that's one of the reasons why i'm using the theomars uh also you see the bella there uh bella is really good because uh, she can also or he can also right there do that strip you can strip that attack buff but now you'll see uh he is going to drop a few units here and there but that's the plan that's the plan so that to let the boss actually take a few turns and the dots will wear him out so you see my best time right there 244 and then this one was three minutes and i'll be honest with you this is basically the average the average is basically three minutes on this team now uh, we're gonna do one more because it does you guys kind of get the idea as far as what the the average time is gonna be again I can't stress it enough uh, you're gonna have I'm gonna show you the rules and you're gonna be like oh my god but anyways you're gonna have more you're gonna have I mean faster runs if your room quality is better and at the same time if for some reason or just in general if your rooms are worse obviously you're, it might be slower right but the plan is to um, the drop rates of the runes are amazing it's nothing but six star runes it's gonna help progress your account so much better uh, than farming uh, giants b10 even if it is three to four to five times slower than your giants b10 team now let's get back so the bella i'll go over the rolls again really quick the bella is there for the consistent defense break that's really the main 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 job of bella but also uh heal heal uh you saw in the other run we needed plenty of that right we needed plenty of heals right and then uh let's see the veromos is very key though the veromos is i mean he's huge here he is huge guys hopefully you guys have him already uh but he's got he brings that leader skill uh making your monsters a lot tankier a lot tankier and he brings those dots he brings those dots and then right here is the key these waves okay these waves uh, he can right there that, that his second skill he gives you that control especially when he gets uh, when, when he stuns those side crystals and one thing to note on that you'll notice I'm not running any wind units and there's a reason for that if you run the wind units for example I was running a Bernard at first which was great but then he um, say he used a skill too he's always gonna target the, the, the middle guys he's always gonna target the middle guys and if he defense breaks it then everything's gonna go into them and it gives the side crystals the opportunity to basically kill you if the Veromos doesn't um, stun them but because I'm not running any wind, uh, everything's element neutral basically. They a lot of them target the crystals actually. They target the crystals. So that's Veromos' job, and then right here, this is his main job to cleanse these defense breaks with his passive. Look at that. And the way the team is set up, right before the the boss moves, uh, Veromos gets another turn, and he. Uh, he cleanses and right there the bella again oh i almost forgot again i mentioned it earlier but that strip right and you saw the theomars what the theomars is here for basically just to pump out damage he is your damage dealer he brings the, that dot and you know he's basically got that second life he's basically got that second life and then the friend obviously healer that attack break though the attack break is huge it's huge on this boss uh it'll allow you to survive a hit sometimes even with the boss um having attack buff right so that's the friend's role obviously the healing the immunity and the attack buff for your team and then you've got the crow so the crow his job is to do some damage as well backup defense breaker for the bella brings the brand as well and then on top of that uh the team up right the team up uh, he can bring one of the daughters and add that extra dot okay so again there's no point in me uh, just running these for three minutes now let me show you the runes so that you can compare and contrast and then you're gonna you maybe you'll say oh my god i can definitely make this team or i can, mine's gonna be so much better all right so we'll start off with the realm so again guys these are okay runes not amazing they re they're really not so the uh the bromos is on speed hp and hp uh i obviously this could probably get faster if i max um every single slot and you probably should but just to show an idea um these are just 
I mean, they're not amazing. They're not, uh, at least in my opinion, you know. Uh, although <laughs> my judgment might be a little skewed because, uh, you know, I have a end game account, right? But this is the Theomars. Guys, I, I actually don't even have violence on him. You can put violence on him. You probably do have violence on him. So that's going to help. Uh, it's going to help speed it up. So he is on swift will, speed, crit damage, and attack. And again, that's because I just don't have enough violence rooms. And you'll notice that a lot of this will not be grinded because my BJR5 team is just not there yet. Now, one thing to note on the crow um and actually i i, I want to focus this you really guys you want to get as much accuracy as possible on the Veromos because those dots are what's going to kill him okay on the theomars um yeah, i've got some not enough but again on this guy too if you can get more great but one thing to note on this guy he is not an at five so his base stats are pretty low as far as the hp goes obviously second awakened they go up and this could be better when I skill him up, um, and I probably will. I, I'll probably actually invest my double mon into the, him before some of the net fives on here, because it's. It, I mean, I'm going to be using him a lot because this new content it's pretty hard, and I know I can use crow in plenty of places. So look at this. These are my rooms, guys. Uh, that one's actually really good, uh, but that's a blade. And look at that. I'm using a five star. A five star. Uh, crit damage rune. I'm sure you guys can do better than this and here um, HP HP rune because like I said uh, you need him to survive you need him to survive guys I am fairly confident you guys can make a better crow so that should speed up your runs now Belladion uh, you see that accuracy that's huge that's huge if you guys can get to 85 that would be amazing uh, it'll speed up your runs because Bella will be actually landing the defense break on the mini boss a little more consistent, okay? So speed uh, and then just HP and HP. Uh, violent focus and you see the runes. Again, uh, not amazing. I can also max all the slots uh, still. And then, and then France probably got my best set, honestly. And uh, speed, HP, HP again with the focus runes uh, just to get that accuracy because her skill one now luckily you don't need as much on her because she does hit three times so the brand will actually land it a, a little more often than the other ones like the bella who only hits once right so that is my team guys um i've run it plenty of times i actually ran it way too many uh, more often than i wanted to just to test just for you guys so again guys show me that support hit that like button hit that subscribe but this is going to be your giants b uh, b12 team the concept is basically flawless guys it will work again the better your room quality or as you improve your room quality so will your run times improve all right so Veromos, Theomars, Crow, Fran, Bella is your Giants B12 mid game or just farming team in general if you didn't know, you know, you know.